ならば能力向上すべき The true nail clipper. <laughs> okay. You tell me. I I wasn't expecting much, okay? I know at the end of the day, the disparity between Kokaitis' level, probably level 195, you know, 95, level 100, maybe even beyond that. I don't know specifically. I'm not like, you know, uh, overlord lore nerd you know who knows all these statistics and stuff okay but i know off off top the disparity between rakokitis is and mr brain Uglaus is huge the gap is wide i don't know why i was expecting some kind of like huge fight like you know in i think a part of my brain watching brain step up to kokitis was I thought Kokaitis would kind of like honor him as a warrior. And what they've done historically through the anime is like they've all kind of played with their prey, right? Even, you know, even even people or I guess even creatures, whatever you want to call it, even the underlings of Ainz have played with different people in the past, different, you know, monsters, whatever. They, they've played with them. They've played with their food, right? So... A part of me wasn't expecting Brain to win at all, you know, or even really, you know, do anything. But I thought Kakaias would at least kind of mess around with him to at least give us a good a fight scene. What we got was still pretty good, right? We got Brain stepping up to, to Kakaitis, challenging him, using as many ability boosts as he can, but causing nosebleed. Like, this dude was like, he's pushing his body to the max. So much so that at the end, at the end of the day, he still impressed Kakaitis. But essentially, Kakaitis drew out what was it, a god, god slaying sword or something like that, and he one shotted Brain, no problem, right? And at that point, Brain busted out his final move, the true nail clipper, which I freaking, I laughed so effing hard. At, at at that move i was like yo you gotta be kidding me like i was like this is this is his final this is his ultimate move and the reason he named it that right was because i don't i was a season three i think it was season maybe season three or maybe season two or season three when he finally got his rematch against shell tier he took off a nail with his move and he was overjoyed i think it was ab after the sebis stuff he was overjoyed by it so in that moment, you know, he he named his final move that he's been perfecting over time the the true nail clipper. So I was like, my boy. Regardless, he gets embarrassed, but he ends his life as a warrior. Kakaitis puts him on ice, gives him a couple of looks. Will Brain be revived? Will Ainz use him in some way, shape, or form? Or will he go out the way of, of Gazoff and be allowed a warrior's ultimate, you know, final final death. I don't know what will end up happening for Brain in the future, but I can still be impressed by his tenacity just like Kokaitis was. Disappointed though that there was no fight. It was just a one-shotted uh thing. What I will say though is the rest of the episode not a whole lot happened, and I was a little bit disappointed in that, you know, because this one was this episode specifically, at least Crunchyroll called it Invasion of the Royal Capital. So I was like, oh, we're finally getting the invasion. But really, this was just like the first, this was the, the group stepping into the Royal Capital, right? Starting the invasion. This wasn't the actual invasion, so it was a little bit of false advertising uh, in, in, in my, my, my personal opinion. We have one episode left, so I'm actually a little disappointed. I thought this was going to be the invasion, and then kind of like next episode could kind of like tie off the invasion, but it seems that we're, we're going to be left on some kind of bullshit cliffhanger by the end of the invasion. Maybe not even completing it, or maybe it will be complete, but then we won't know anything that happens after, and that's going to be the cliffhanger that we get left off on. And what's going to suck about that is the next piece of Overlord content we get is actually going back in the in history, uh, through the Holy Kingdom arc, 
So instead of taking a step forward when the movie comes out in hopefully 2023, we're going to be actually going back. So we're not going to get a true completion of this story until the next core of season four comes out or season five, which if you guys know more about that, please put links, please put in the comments. But we're not going to get the next completed story or at least this story completed or whatever happens next until core two or season five, whatever they decide to do, comes out whenever that happens. So, like I said, if you guys know more about that. But uh, the rest of the episode, I thought it was it was good. It just wasn't the best episode. Uh, we got I I love any time that we see Princess Rainier. Uh, I had I I took a note here that I love her two facedness. You know what I mean? Like she has this one personality that she fakes towards the orphans and towards uh, Klein and 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 her kingdom. And then she has this other personality, this other side of her, which she shows at, at, at points, which like Evil Eye pointed out, you know, when she wasn't tripping what happened this episode. You know, she has this other side of her that she showed Climb in a moment when, when she wielded uh, Stronoff's sword for a moment, right? Like, I was like, the way she the way she wielded that sword, too, I was like, God damn. Like, Climb needed to climb that ASAP. Like, if you if you wield a sword like that in front of me, baby girl, we're putting it down. We're putting it down. We're going to—we're going to— the the my sword could become unsheathed, you know what I mean? Uh, but I was like, yeah, that moment was was hella dope. Uh, I like that she stayed back still. I know that she'll be saved along with Klein because that's her second, and Albedo is friends with her. She she'll protect her, so she won't be caught up in all this mess. She probably won't have to see her dad die and all and the rest of her kingdom. But like you know, the rest of that's gonna be cool. Uh, the front half of the episode focused on Ainz dissecting the world item and him catching on really quick that the dragon that they fought last week did in fact have a world item, but the the kicker for him was his HP dropping. We spent a good portion of him uh, contemplating resurrection. He knows that he can resurrect people of this world, NPCs of this world. He's not sure if him himself can be resurrected. Uh, but he kind of wants to find out. I think he kind of wants to find out if that's the case or not. So I think that was really cool. And then he took off to go and uh, do the deed in person. Then we get the whole evil eye stuff with, with Princess Rainier. They took out their leader. Essentially, the leader was, was pretty bullish on uh, staying in the kingdom. So the whole group around her, uh, evil eye and gargantuan and the ninja girls, basically they fucked her up. Like they effed, this, they effed her up. Just so that they could force her out of the kingdom and then they teleported uh, some faraway country. They didn't specify where. Then we end the episode with the true nail clipper. And I think overall this was a good episode. I would tell you straight up, full transparency, I'd be like, yo, this episode was an 8 or a 9. Like this episode was killer. If it wasn't the episode before the last episode. If this was episode like 9 or 10 and I knew we still had 2, 3, 4. I would say maybe three, four episodes ahead of us. This episode was killer. But this episode being right before the last episode of the season and then Crunchyroll lying, saying this is the invasion of the royal capital when it really wasn't. Uh, you know, obviously, I think it was, was it Aura or Mari? One of them. Uh, you know, they started the invasion, but even then we didn't really get complete. They just kind of uh, invaded the walls. So, like, this was, this, I, I don't know, I felt like this episode was a really good episode if it wasn't the episode before the last episode. The fact that it was took it down to, like, a 7 for me just because I wanted to see more of what we were promised than what we got. I think what we got could have came earlier. I don't know if that makes sense. Let me know if you're on the same page. Let me know if I'm off base. Let me know if you're like, yo, bro, you tripping? Uh, let me know that in the comments. Regardless, still love it. Still thought it was a really good episode, and I love the true nail clipper. All right, I'm going to see you guys next week for the last episode. Oh, my God. And don't forget to check out my video of all the anime we're going to be watching in the fall. I'll put that right now. Check that out, and I'll see you guys next week. Deuce, deuce.